really excited about this commission that can bring together a wide range of people who have diverse backgrounds, different experiences, to really think about how do we continue to move this issue of global health forward. In that room today are a diverse group of people coming from academia, coming from the private sector, coming from the corporate world, coming from the non-governmental organization community. And when you put together that, that degree of diversity, you know that it's going to be innovative, it's going to be creative, it's going to maybe look at things in a little bit different light than anybody else has. And that's, to me, the real challenge that we have, but it's also the real excitement in having a commission like this. The commission is going to try to look in a fresh way at our investments around the world, how we deliver that aid, what we could do to make certain that it goes directly uh, to those that we're trying to help. I would like this commission to take a look at the resources that the Obama administration has committed to global health and think about carefully how it should be spent. What should our priorities be? What diseases should we address? What parts of the world should we address? How much should we deal with the health care systems that we need to deliver our prevention and care services? I hope we'll address those problems uh, and issues and challenges very seriously. The folks who are actually charged with delivering health care on the ground in some of the poorest parts of the world are faced with such a jumble of, of objectives and a jumble of criteria from all of the folks who give them money that their jobs are being made almost impossible. One of our charges is to help think about how you can standardize and simplify the health care situation that we're facing now. Because uh, of the linkage between uh, Stability, stability, security, and economic activity. When we have a situation in which people are in need, uh, when there's a, uh, a crisis of some kind that's brought on by uh, an epidemic or by some chronic disease or, or some behaviors that add to these diseases, it's really in our interest to address these things, aside from the fact that above and beyond it's the right thing to do. Health is a transnational issue. Uh, viruses don't know any uh, boundaries, and so that if there's an epidemic in one part of the world, uh, it can easily spread to another. So in terms of just uh, preserving the health of our own people, in addition to us having an interest in the general well-being of uh, peoples around the world, it's an important issue. Promoting growth in developing countries and overcoming poverty was not only a tremendously important moral issue, but it's tremendously in the self-interest of the industrial country, unless the working population is, is as reasonable health care, the lack of health care can so impede productivity and the ability to, to function effectively. The biggest challenge is to take a long-term vision to make sure that uh, we sustain the efforts and also that we uh, bring in not only the people of the United States but also from uh, many other countries. For me, I think the big question is how do ordinary people get involved in, in becoming part of the solution? What I would hope we would be able to say, or what the government or different NGOs are going to be able to say after the commission provides some recommendations is, here's a very specific thing that you can do for you know a week of your life or six months of your life or two years of your life and do something that there's something for you to plug into, whether as a, a volunteer or uh, in some sort of uh, exchange capacity or something like that. I think we've got an intersection of uh, a moment in time, um, an incredible group of people who are very action oriented. We can make this a report that is actionable, that uh, will have an impact, and that will really advance what we do in the area of global health. We've got an opportunity now to come up with a product that, uh, in my view, would be a roadmap uh, for the way ahead uh, that would actually end up getting results, and those results would be a better state of global health and uh, keeping more people alive that are succumbing to, to these problems today and in the process uh, making us a better world.